dude this is actually how i feel like a werewolf attack would go like you shoot at them right and then they kind of back off they kind of get scared but then they sense weakness and then they just keep coming bro we lose i think we started episode one of rimcraft as you would a game of warcraft 3 five naked peasants with a very basic understanding of skills and enough materials to build a town hall one of our daily 6 a.m raids was by these androids we kited through our traps but unfortunately two of them had the dreaded black box implant which makes them violently explode upon death with two of her comrades defeated the third android Sianon tried to flee but was leaking coolant at an alarming pace due to some injuries she sustained while fighting the local wildlife after losing most of their coolant androids start overheating very quickly and if androids get to 100% overheat they explode dealing massive damage usually killing whatever's around them and in this case Sianon also does have a black box installed which will make the explosion even more more violent. The rate at which androids overheat does appear to slow down as you patch up their open injuries and whether it was by some divine guidance or otherworldly power, Peasant 3 was able to completely seal up Sianon, preventing her from fully overheating. I'm not sure exactly why the god Emotep decided to bless Peasant 3 with their wisdom. Maybe this event was a perfect storm of skill, dumb luck, bravery, or stupidity, but moving forward it does appear we will have a decent medic. I'm not sure what we want to do now with our new striker class android Sianon. Do we first want to convert her over to our Ideligion, which I've not yet gone over. We're doing a fluid ideologion so we will evolve it later but we're starting with a pretty basic one human primacy her ideologion might mesh perfectly with ours though she likes being around other people that think differently and does this mean she'll sleep with anyone Welp, say no more we're recruiting her as is and it shouldn't take too long to get through her 11 resist even with our warden only having five in social she probably won't join us in time for the storyteller werewolf event that's happening in three or four days and our focus right now is preparing for that and survival it's currently day seven and we get a raid every day and we're getting raided by some Revians. None of them are casters and none of them have range weapons, so we should be fine on this. We're just having everyone use their uh, range weapons to try to, you know, soften the blow. Some of these guys are actually nimble too. I think two of them are nimble, which is uh, not the luckiest. Let's not fire at will for a second. And yeah, there's like a pretty high chance that she can step over the traps, but it's not 100%. Even if she does make it though to the end, I think she's only got doom waiting for her. Oh yeah, fire at will. Everyone fire. Bring her down. Can we hit her again? Uh, can we get her? Nice. We actually knocked her out. And she's physically adept. Whoa, she's Iron Man too. And is nimble. And is a 19 melee. Okay, whoa. The game needs to chill out on giving us amazing colonists. She can also do research as well. She has a burning passion for it. And we don't have a researcher right now. As far as her injuries, they're not actually that bad in terms of she got no permanent injuries. We'll have our medic peasant captured and tender. And in the meantime, the rest of these guys are just going to finish off this last raider. Who, yeah, this person's also nimble. Don't really care if they die though. We don't need another prisoner right now. It's surprising they can do research as well. Uh, they're dead. But yeah, we're able to save Jaguar. She does only have eight resists. Wow. Revians are pretty low tier and we're starting out very low tier as the peasants. So I think that's why she's going to be so easy to recruit. But yeah, she's going to be an amazing melee tank with that Iron Man trait and then Nimble increasing her melee dodge. It's 4 a.m. and we're getting raided in a couple more hours and we did get a poaching events. Okay, I'm not sure if that's exactly how you want to poach. Well, I guess the Mega Slot didn't die. I thought like they might destroy it by using that much... Uh, firepower but yeah with this poaching event i kind of forgot to disable the mod and i was thinking about actually disabling it but it looks like it's working properly before it would just not work and they would just kind of charge the base Fortunately, that dude died this dude might bleed out though he's got eight hours these guys are not very smart poachers because yeah this thing's down they're still shooting at it and they're gonna leave with their prey okay like that's fine if the event doesn't bug out i won't disable the mod are they tunneling out of here okay that's not really what I think they should be doing. They could literally just leave, like, I don't know. Now here we go, we're getting raided by the Revians. I think the same ones actually. I think they're pissed that we took one of their comrades. They might run into these guys, which would be nice. I don't really want them tunneling away out of our base. Yeah, so the Revians are coming in from this side to the east and they're heading for Peasant 1, but as soon as he gets inside, they might rethink their plan of action. They might reacquire target onto these raiders, which would be nice. I really doubt this guy's gonna be able to make it out with his Mega Sloth. Like there's pretty much no chance, right? Because carrying that thing is slowing him by quite a bit. He's only got six hours left. The dude is is intelligent which boosts his research ability and he does have a minor passion for it but he's a technophobe he does not like technology that dude's got his priorities a bit mixed up and we don't really need a researcher so if he goes down then i don't even know if we're going to try to recruit him he is very charismatic though which increases negotiation ability and stuff be a good social person vengeful is not good though like it's really bad gives him like a negative 20 mood that, oh yep and they're engaging very nice Looks like today we're going to get a free raid these guys have three casters by the way blood mage which is terrifying 
Faceless, which is even more terrifying, and then Druid, which is also not something we want to deal with. It gives a regen. Meanwhile, down here, these guys are kind of getting owned. They're not even going to help each other. It's every man for himself. I will say they are attacking one by one, though. Oh, we're getting raided again by the agency. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is just a storyteller, or it might be Rimmore. It says her combat power is 452, which is almost double that of the Revian raid. So I think this might be a Rimmore raid. But yeah, I had Peasant 3 close this door. And the Revians were locked onto this main base area. But I think after they beat on the door for a little bit, get some of their rage out. Repair this door. Oh yeah, these guys are reacquiring, and yeah, this guy's reacquiring target too. Very nice. So it looks like they're going to duke it out with the agency. That's pretty good timing for another raid. We get to save on some wood, which we're not really having wood problems right now. Where are you going? Obsidian Carver still wants to come in here. Okay, Crocodile Beater is coming back. I'm kind of confused. Like, they're so far, maybe? But then she reacquired back onto them. Says they'll be unusually clever with their tactics. They'll notice our turrets field of fire and our traps, so maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, we'll just have Peasant 3 just chill by the door. Emotep's Wisdom does increase his global work speed by 50%. And yeah, that's going to be probably the only scripted event I do in this playthrough. I just felt like it was too perfect to pass up. Like, that was a crazy event. I had no idea if he was going to die or live in that situation. And uh, yeah, I just felt like if there was a situation where somebody could be blessed by the god, like the gods are watching that would be it like for sure and if you guys have been following my playthroughs you know i don't uh, do stuff like that i would like to make it so if somebody does something heroic then they get blessed by a god trait but i just don't know how to implement something like that i think there's like engine limitations you know but yeah the agency got freaking ripped up they brought us two tommy guns and some ammo which is very nice of them but yeah, i don't think these guys have cast anything yet and I do have Room of the Magic on hard mode. The only thing I've changed is the death retaliation chance. So there's no extra chance that they die if they get knocked out of their caster, which is usually the case. Let's actually open this door and then let's keep shooting at them. We might actually have to fight these guys, which would not be the best situation. I mean, she's beating on the wrong wall, which is good. Should have probably bought someone over here with a Tommy gun or something. This girl is not a caster, so we're not too worried about that. She is brave though, so it's hard for her to go down. Yeah, that great bow is not doing it. This wall is going to go down, but it shouldn't matter. We still have... Okay. Wait, you're hitting the traps? Good. That's their caster too, one of them. Nice. She went down, dude. What the heck? An arcane conduit druid. It increases their mana regen. She can't plant, which kind of sucks because druids get bonuses to planting. They do get more animal harvest yield though, so I'm not sure if we just recruit her just so she can harvest animals better. And the druid can give people regen. Like, that's kind of nuts. Can cure diseases as well. If we do recruit a druid though, we'll have to increase our threat scale by 20. So there is that to think about. But uh, yeah, I think we do arrest her and then maybe pick up a druid. Like, I don't know. I don't know why a storyteller is trying to give us so many people right now. It's knocking out a lot of people. Yeah, that person's dead. I don't think Revians will uh, flee, so I'm pretty sure we have to kill them all, which is fine. Is she nimble, by the way? Of course she's nimble. Freaking Revians with their increased combat stats. I'm pretty sure they have something that's boosting their stats. Or like it makes it more likely that they have certain combat traits or something. I don't know. But yeah, we might get faceless here. I think they can take over someone. Something like that. Oh, take out the Tommy gun oh, and just run, actually. No, Peasant 4. No, Peasant 4. Oh, he's getting ripped up. Someone hit. Nice. It was just by the fist. He just got fist a little bit. It's not bad. Those wounds cannot get infected, which is the main thing. Although we do have a good medic now, and we have 25 medicine with the transaction we did in the last episode. So people get their wounds infected, they won't die. So day nine's raid is looking really easy. It's by these damned ones. There's three of them, and they're from the Rimsonel Feral Faction Pack mod. And this mod is freaking ancient. It's been around forever. It's one of the first faction mods I tried out. And crap, this dude's hitting some traps. I wanted to kill these things before they got in here, just so we can save on some wood. We knocked out Swin. Okay, I just gotta show you guys really fast. Enemy death on down is 100%. Like, I don't know why we're getting so many people downed. Usually there's like a really low chance that you knock people out. And the storyteller is only supposed to give us half population. That's actually nice. This guy's trying to get through our door. Let's have Peasant 3, who has a little bit of armor. Can we butcher this thing? It looks like we can. It gives 92 twisted meat. We do have a dead mega sloth on our map, though. That's gonna give us plenty of meat although we should still probably hunt it down just in case we get a trader that will buy the meat which today we got a bioengineering supplier and i don't think they'll buy the meat oh yeah we should probably uh strip this guy he's gonna bleed out in six hours take his gear his stats are not that good though 
like nothing here that we want really his gear is pretty bad too like this military uniform is 15 percent durability no one's gonna want to wear that and all right so to mark the beginning of day 10 we get a challenge from the wing dudes the god faction that have not yet released it's kind of a work in progress the quest will send us an attack based on our wealth and as you can see our wealth is not super high right now so we're getting just kind of a basic attack quest as far as the reward there's really nothing good here we'll take the silver i guess and then this flame core shard which we can just sell i don't know what this is for the god challenge is here and yeah it's only by one dude we're gonna see if we can take these guys. He does have a Persona Tesla gun, yeah. And the idea with this god faction is each of them are supposed to have a god trait, but if they're casters right now, they can't for whatever reason. And I'm trying to fix that. But yeah, he also has some extra body parts. Argotech stomach, Argotech kidney, Psychic Harmonizer. It'd be nice if Holden gets knocked out. That's like one person that would be really beneficial if he got knocked out, because we could take that god armor. Just getting damaged. Oh, they died. And the death acidifier evaporates their gear, so we can't take it. And here we go. The Chandelori are beginning their assault. I'm hoping they can't make it in here, but the store's already at 50. Oh, and we can't build a wall here because it's on mud. So we'd have to wall in here, 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 and here if we wanted to seal this off. Is it going to be faster to do that, or can we out repair the damage? Peasant 5 does have a lot of construction speed with his adamantite hammer. It's increasing it by 33. And this builder's jacket is also increasing it by 10. So maybe you can pull this off. Okay, go for it. If she destroys the door, okay, so at 34. And we got two of these already built. I think if she can't get in, they'll go for our main area. Oh, we got three of them and four. Okay, cool. And I'll just start repairing the steel wall. This guy's not doing much damage to it. I think we can out repair that damage. The door just didn't seem like it was mitigating that well. Maybe it was taking a lot more damage, felt like, than the wall is. And yeah, we are out repairing his damage. Like, we could just sit here all day. I don't think he'll keep whacking this door all day though. So this girl's gotten all the way around to our main maze area and this dude's still beating on the wall so I decided just to build some bone walls over here. Oh she's gonna beat down the door. That's kind of not the nicest thing that she could do. Okay never mind she just uh okay dude another caster got knocked out. They're an armancer who gets bonuses to planting and again cannot do planting. They also have the builder trait but don't like to build. We do want her gear for sure like this kite and boots is gonna sell for something. Yeah they sell for 325. Her gear overall seems pretty good but I don't think we want her. I'm still really not sure if we want the druid as well because we want people that can do stuff around base and assist us in combat and also the problem with casters is they have a mana pool. The druid we have though does have increased main regen so it is a plus so a couple hours before day 11 we got the blood moon events and this is about when it happened on my test run so yeah i think it's about day 11 when you get it and it lasts for i think a full day and okay to start out we got kind of lucky the oh the hounds there's a lot of freaking hounds what the heck i don't know if there's supposed to be that many hounds i don't remember there being that many hounds why is this getting heat stroke? From what I remember, you're supposed to hunt this giant deer thing, but it's getting heat stroke and it's burning for some reason. Its comfortable temperature is negative 328. Okay, I don't remember that being a thing. I guess it just dies and then you can skin it for free. And I think you get an item for skinning it. But yeah, that's a lot of freaking werewolves. So the werewolves are coming in here from the east. Oh, this is not good. We're not gonna be able to go out and hunt this spilipede, which is marked right now. I believe it's this one. Yeah, that's this one that's marked. And if we kill it, we get a reward. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill it before these werewolves get here. I mean, if we can just piss it off, that's a win oh we're getting raided from the north wait this is really good okay if we can somehow have peasant three hit this thing uh, be everyone just kill this thing if we can the revenge that's really good actually okay run again just run we hit it again good we need to kill it then we get a reward oh my god these things are coming fast gift of piercing speed plus 100 i'm pretty sure this got buffed or something because yeah i don't remember them being this strong i don't remember there being this many of them okay we got three tommy guns out now and you guys just gotta run Hit the werewolf, yes. Good. Yes, nice. It's running. Phew. Oh, that was bad. Almost. We gotta uh, kill this freaking spielipede, by the way. Before the, uh... Before it... Hearsing does not... Or Hearsing unmarks it. We killed it, and we got cargo pods. Okay, I don't know what's dropping over here. A lot of stuff's dropping. We gotta make sure that we're okay over here. These guys should aggro on the raiders, so I don't think we have to actually mess with them right now. Although we should probably just man the walls anyways, because there's a lot of these werewolves. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make quick work of the raiders. So yeah, they kind of behave a little bit scaredy catish or scaredy dogish. Oh, and the raiders are actually coming for our base because I forgot to close it off. Okay, I'm gonna send Peasant 5 over here to deconstruct this door. Oh, this guy got knocked out. Uh, looks like we're not gonna be quick enough. This guy must have a god trait, right? No, he's got bark skin on. Okay, deconstruct that quicker, please. Crap, the raiders are dying. This is our werewolf food. That one's riding a spielipede too. 
Okay, wait, yeah, these guys are gonna go for the werewolves, right? We're getting raided again by the Scourge. This is kind of good. Are you guys gonna leave us alone? They're not sure what they want to do. Oh, this guy's getting uh, hit by the werewolf. Wild Woman wanders in. Now's not the time. You know what's actually kind of funny? On my test run, I had a Wild Woman wander in while... I <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to talk about. She's an elemental gunner too. That's lame. Yeah, that happens with the werewolves. They don't care about wild women or wild men. It was last time, but yeah. So we got some... Yeah, they're hitting themselves with that ability. It's definitely not the werewolves casting that. They can't cast. How about a hedgehog, by the way? They got Artemis' Blessing, the god trait, and they're a marksman, which increase their shooting accuracy. Hedgehog would be amazing. They're going to bleed out in two hours. It'd be nice to get out there and rescue hedgehog, but then this person's kind of blind walking so i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that i guess we just send everyone out there we're just gonna send everyone over there to try to rescue them and hopefully this caster i don't know what they're doing but yeah there's a bunch of werewolves coming in here these guys are done so i think they're all inflicted with the disease aside from hedgehog over here is not yet but yeah we got everyone over here we need to capture a hedgehog out of line of sight of this caster because i think they can cast i don't i don't know what they're doing carry hedgehog got her out of there oh Okay, they were freaking waiting for us to make a move, I guess. Arrest Hedgehog right here. I knew it. They were freaking waiting, dude. Okay, first aid Hedgehog. Or not first aid, just 10 Hedgehog is fine. First aid is like worse than quality. We don't want their wounds getting infected for no reason. And there we go. They gave up. Haha, -ha, we are smarter than you. And yeah, I believe you can skin these werewolves from what I remember. So it's pretty nice. Look at all the freaking werewolves. Okay, I just need to make sure no one's gonna try to run outside. And then how's Hedgehog doing? Okay, the tribes people are fleeing. And okay, a yeah, Hedgehog's gonna live. And okay, it looks like the Scourge are engaging the werewolves. There's a lot of casters down here, so if they use any AoE, they might be okay. Although, they kind of didn't have a line of sight for a little bit there. And I don't think they cast in melee. I mean, they will use melee casts if they're a melee class, I think. Bro, Ice went down. Mercury's Blessing. Arcane Conduit Necromancer. He's got the Lupus, though. His head was bitten off. Wait, what? The Scourge not die if their head's bitten off? He's a skeleton, so maybe not. The guy's nuts, though. Like, his class and the fact that he's Quick Sleeper is actually kind of unnecessary with Necromancer if you upgrade them to a Lich, but... Okay, yeah, these guys are getting owned. No, no, not more hounds. No. Why? So we got another hound event, and there's like, I want to say 20 coming in from the east side. And then we got these guys coming in from the south. They have to go all the way around, I guess. And I have a plan on how we can maybe deal with these, but yeah, this is a little bit nuts. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe there was an update recently. And okay, I'm looking over the change log. Since I released a video on the 26th, it got an update on that day. It also got an update on the 27th, which it says it fixed the avatar of piercing thing where it started to burn as soon as it got on our map, but that did not fix it. We got an update on the 27th with totems. We'll get into that later. Update on the 28th, fix the here scenes comfortable temperature fix the loot drop reward at the end of the blood moon 28th fix the loot drop so yeah there was a bunch of updates between the last video and now i'm not seeing like a massively increased werewolf spawn rate so we got one werewolf coming in which still has this gift of here scene i'm not sure why they have this some of them have it some of them don't and then i open the door over here i hope they're all going to come for this side we should probably actually add some embrasures on these walls. Okay, Peasant 3, grab some wood and bring over some wood. And yeah, we're going to have these guys hold this door open. And okay, so cool. They're behaving the same way they were in my test run. Basically, if you shoot at them, you can kind of spook them out. But they will keep coming kind of if you don't. Yeah, you can kind of spook them out. But if we send everyone inside and we don't shoot at them when they get over here, then they'll just keep coming. Because that's how they were behaving. But yeah, deconstruct this stuff. It's like they're scared of noise or something. It's kind of a cool mechanic, actually. We hit that one. One dead. This one's getting brave. Okay, we hit it. I want to get Peasant 5 over here to deconstruct this steel wall. Very nice. Um, get some more people mending some braziers. That's very good. This is perfect. We can just kill these werewolves. Oh, this one's getting brave. Yeah, some of them just come through. And there's a lot of them. Okay, they're not really wanting to come in here, I guess. I'm not sure if this is like something you can only really do. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? 
Holy crap, he's coming in. Yeah, that can happen. Um, good hit though, 40 damage. We gotta keep hitting this, these guys, you guys. We gotta keep going. If we if we stop shooting him for a second, they'll get brave. Oh man. Oh no, this one's going for our group of peasants. You wanna take out your Tommy guns? Oh no, Tommy gun. Oh god, someone's gonna get hit right there. Oh, not medic peasant. Anyone but medic peasant. Run, 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 run. They're gonna make it through, I think. Okay, we knocked that one out. And see how they're getting really brave? This is really bad. We might have to sacrifice a peasant for this and close the door. Uh, Dude, this is actually how I feel like a werewolf attack would go. Like you shoot at them, right? And then they kind of back off. They kind of get scared, but then they sense weakness and then they just keep coming. And we're getting really low on industrial ammo. Peasant one just, oh, peasant one's gonna get bit. Yeah, he's getting bit. He got missed attack. Oh, he got bit. His middle toe was bitten off. They're coming in. Not good at all. This is very bad. Uh, run. Run, guys. We gotta run to this. Whatchamacallit. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Running gun for the win. Peasant 2. Don't reload right now. Peasant 5 got hit. Peasant 5's getting ripped up. No, don't. Oh my god, no. Run, guys. Dude, I don't think we can. This event has to. This event needs to chill, bro. What is this, dude? This has nothing to do with threat scale either, I don't think. Like, I tried this with 500% threat scale, and it was the same thing. Okay, you guys can actually aggro them towards where we are right now, I think. Yeah, okay, they're all gonna come back over this side. We can cheese this. It's just that, uh, yeah. I think two of our peasants might become werewolves eventually. Prison break? Really? Sianon, Jaguar, and Crocodile Beater? No. It's not the time to prison break, you morons. You know what I also don't understand about the prison break system is I have everyone in different prisoner cells, yet they're all prison breaking at the same time. How, like, how does that make any sense, right? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and peasant one actually... Okay, the hounds are giving up and leaving. That's good. You guys can actually shoot that guy through these embrasures, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, so we're tending peasant five's injuries. He did get the werewolf disease. Peasant one did not, though. His toe got bitten off, so I guess it did not give him the disease. Okay, he's gonna bleed out in 23 hours, but in the meantime, we're gonna have time. Oh yeah, nice. Sinon is gonna get the uh, werewolf disease. Maybe? Maybe not, though. Maybe androids can't get it. That makes sense, right? Dude, the werewolves are going for our prisoners now because there's no thing here. Bro, I just want to replay this so bad because, like, these guys are all gonna die to the werewolves, I think. I don't know. This is just unfair, I feel. This is really unfair. Prison break, like, in the middle of a werewolf invasion of oh, that is just... Oh god, please. Peasant 5 is... Oh, he already has a werewolf disease, so might as well just send Peasant 5 in there, right? Just give him more disease of the werewolf. Yeah, he's one with the wolves now. Looks like our prisoners are about to be. On the bright side, our best prisoner is still knocked out. The one that has Artemis' blessing. I'm trying to distribute this ammo to everyone, but it's just... There's so much that needs to be doing... That I need to do right now. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Sina got knocked out. She's got six hours. She did not get the werewolf disease though, so that's good. She's the main one I cared about too. I don't care too much about these stupid fox people. Like they're good, don't get me wrong. The druid I didn't really care about though. I was thinking about getting rid of her and then crocodile beater. Yeah, she's amazing in melee, but she can't really fight the werewolves that well. I still would like to save one fox girl though. This girl is not a fox girl yet. Yeah. Because fox girls can sacrifice raiders and get stronger. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. And this event sucked. Peasant 5, come over here, open up the door, and then give the werewolves a way to get to us. Are they... Do we got another invasion? Yeah, see, this event needs to chill. Like, one wave of werewolves I would be okay with. Although, like, we're getting close to the end of day 11. At the start of day 12, I think it's over. So, I don't know. It's a little bit crazy, though, I will say. Like, it must be cheesed. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get over to Sianon in time. Let's actually close that door. Make them come over all the way around. That's gonna be the only way we can win this, really. And the real question is, can we save Sianon? Stupid android who, I mean, she's getting what she deserves, honestly. She wants to break out during a werewolf invasion. That's just natural selection at its finest. We could try to get, like, Peasant 3 out there. He's pretty fast. He could actually carry her out. Is he fast enough, though? Like, what are they doing? Oh, God. Grab her. Go that way. Don't run and gun, just run. Oh, they, they're on him. It's like they sensed him, like he was sneaking, right? And then they like say, oh, this is intense, dude. This is like a movie. I swear this whole event is kind of like a movie. Like, it's like some effed up movie that, uh, it's like a horror movie. She's got coolant loss moderate, by the way. We've been here before. Peasant 3, perform first aid on her. That's fine. I don't think the 10 really matters on what 
is going on? He's aiming this way. There's a werewolf coming in from this side. How many? Just one? Okay, everyone focus fire. It's got the freaking gift of piercing. So peasant five has to come up here and take one for the team. Take the Tommy gun. Hit that thing. Okay, of course you miss your burst shots. You have Tommy gun rounds. No, you don't. He's got the adamite hammer though. Peasant five has this adamantite hammer, which does okay DPS. <laughs> it's made out of adamantite. <laughs> Never thought we'd be using this thing melee against werewolves. Yo, we got some totems of the hunter over here, by the way. I think they just drop randomly from werewolves that you kill. I'm not really sure, but yeah, they can give you permanent buffs. They have a market value of 600, so yeah, they're gotta be good. But yeah, Peasant 5, just come up here and... Oh, no, no, no. He's too fast. Can he get up here and... Don't hit Peasant 3. Yo, we're focusing this guy, you moron. Is he focused? Nice, we actually knocked him. Peasant 5 didn't get hit. Peasant 3 did not get hit. Xenon's still bleeding out, so go first aid Xenon. And you guys just man that. I don't think there should be any other werewolves coming. Okay, actually, there's two. They don't have the gift of piercing, though. But, like, yeah, we're kind of screwed, man. They just keep coming. Like, we can maybe try to just leave the map. If we leave Caravan to the west, we could maybe get out. But I don't know. That's too much of a long shot, I think. Okay, what if we seal this off right here? The problem is people are starting to be in bad moods. So like, Peasant 5 is in a really bad mood. Peasant 1 is also in a bad mood. Peasant 4. Like, no one's in a good mood right now. If any of them have mental breakdowns, like, they're dead. Almost certainly. Is there anything else? else we can like do like i'm thinking we try to temporarily just seal this little area off but look at how many werewolves there are over here there's like 15 and i feel like if we send someone over there they're gonna immediately aggro i think we gotta try to seal it though we're gonna have peasant four go try to do that and meanwhile you guys need to hit your shots nice shots were hits peasant five get ready to do some pounding oh there's another freaking werewolf coming in oh god okay this one's hit a couple times i'm pausing a bunch right now by the way but there's four werewolves coming in Good lord. Peasant 5 is gonna go down in a second. Oh, and then he botches the wall. It's not real. There's an 8% chance of that happening. It's not real. That didn't just happen. Okay, wait, there's some more wood right here. There's 12 wood over here. Just gotta go back, grab that wood. While well, everyone's just getting torn apart, by the way. Uh, okay, you guys try to run. Peasant 2 is... Peasant 3 just needs to live, honestly. He's the god. Oh god, everyone's done, though, I think. We sealed that off. Peasant 2 is getting... Just Peasant 2 is dead. He's freaking dead, bro. Okay, Peasant 4. Work on that wall. Uh, they're trying to get in. They're just trying to break their way in because they have no way in. Oh no, they're all coming this way. Bro, we lose, I think. What if you guys come down here? Get you guys come down here and open that door. Hirkeen, mark the tortoise. No, not, now's not the time here, scene. You need to reconsider what you're doing with your life. Okay, wait, this could be good. We let them have a way in, and they are going for the way in. Bro, Peasant 1 got the disease, dude. We need a dip, I guess. I don't know, Peasant 1 just tank. Oh wait, no, don't, don't wall us off. It was a, it was a, it was a good thought, but you can't do that. You can't do that, you're gonna piss them off, dude. You're gonna piss them off if you do that. Hold the door open. They're leaving. Wait, are they all leaving? Did we survive? Okay, yeah, it looks like they're not even leaving. Like, this pack is not leaving yet. It's just one of the packs are leaving, I think. Okay, so we got a bunch of werewolves coming in from the west, and I think we're gonna have time to well, hopefully reseal up the base. So, oh no, we don't. Of course we don't. Okay, well, this is just one werewolf, and Peasant 1 already has the disease. So, wait, this one's leaving, I think. It's not coming for us, right? Yeah, it's not coming for us. Wait, do we have any wood over here to reseal this up? Okay, deconstruct this door. Peasant 4 is a crisis of belief. Can't control him because he's hiding in his room. So we only have Peasant 3 that can really do anything right now. Hunt comes in an end. I think we're, I think we're good. Can you sh the hunt's over, dude. What do you want from us? We're just peasants, bro. We're just stupid little peasants. The hunt's over. Peasant 4 is no longer hiding in his room when he hears the werewolf beating on the door. It's perfect. Like, that's actually real life. Yeah, I really don't care. They did a crisis of belief. I don't care what he believes at this point. Wait, the hunt's over, you guys. If they keep beating, we're, we might have to dev mode this out of here. Because if they keep beating on the walls, there's no point, right? The hunt's over. I mean, we could cheese this too. Like, we could actually, you know, utilize game mechanics to beat this. But it's like, the hunt's over. We shouldn't have to um, do anything anymore, right? Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Peasant 1's already diseased, so whatever. I mean, the hunt's over, but, uh, you know, 
Okay. All right. We're going to try to seal off this top wall, which I think we're going to have time to do. Then we can go back to green rated. Perfect. This is exactly what we need, actually. But the remaining werewolves are going to rip up these dwarves, is it? I think they're dwarves from Ironforge, right? This guy's using a Stormwind bow, which, you know, Stormwind's not too far away from Ironforge. One could see that being the case. I mean, they are kind of far, but there's the tram. Yeah, they do not last long. Like at all they're fleeing and we still got a ton of werewolves on our map bro the event's been over for like 0.1 days i don't think these guys are going to be here much longer okay they're giving up and leaving dude i was just about to open the door and well okay i don't even know if all of them are giving up and leaving like these guys are going a different way they might be going for our main base area i really hope that's it though please just leave just leave us alone leave Brittany alone she's dealt with enough yeah okay they're leaving but yeah all the werewolves left and this dude Roheis, the undead guy we're arresting him and we're gonna bring him back to base i don't know how we're gonna communicate with him because he has no head but we'll cross that bridge when we get there i guess this other undead is also a master trader red mage and he's got ten in social so he gets better trade prices and he'd be maybe a good caster well red mages get more tr okay we need to get this guy i'm guessing undeads have like very low negotiation ability though 25 percent <laughs> okay, never mind. That's actually useless. Like, I bet our peasants are better at anything social related than this guy. Yeah, never mind. We're not even gonna try to recruit that guy. That sucks. Oh, and he's actually getting up. He got up and he's walking out of here. It says he's gonna bleed out in 23 hours, but yeah, he's not bleeding. And he's, I think he's healing over time, actually. So the undead necromancer does have 19 resist, which is gonna take a while to get through. I don't know if we can interact with him, by the way, because he has no head. Well, it says we can with peasant three. We're not gonna do that right now because we're having them butcher up as many werewolves as we can before this hoarder trader leaves. We butcher up quite a few. We've got 1k meat in here and then a bunch of leather somewhere. 353 wolf skin and then i brought the butcher table outside just for easier access i also had him take wake up because he was not in a good mood and that made it so he didn't have to rest boost his rest meter full and yeah he's in a bad mood now maybe we'll have him butcher up like one more werewolf oh and he's wet now because he went in the water but yeah, that's probably all we'd be able to butcher because the hoarder trader is leaving in one hour now we got to expand home area around the entire map which is going to be kind of annoying we have to do this though because the trader will trade anything that's in a home area and alrighty, time to sell so there's some gold lying around the map somewhere and we don't need this tainted gear anymore because the fox girls died i don't know how many bows we want to keep like these bows are actually pretty good the stormwind bows and the caldori reeker bow this adamantite spear is a pretty good melee weapon 39 percent armor pen 8 dps can use it with the shield but for 740 that's really expensive adamantite does not seem like it's that great to use for weapons it's more for building material thousand percent hp and so yeah let's just sell that i kind of want to sell the adamantite hammer too it's so expensive yeah we're just gonna sell it vex alloy gladius what is Vex Alloy? Not that good of weapon material, although it lowers me like cooldown. 10 DPS is pretty good. 25% armor pin. 17 DPS though on this Stormwind Sword. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use that one instead. It's much less valuable. So yeah, we're just going to keep one melee weapon because we have the android girl that's going to join us and she is good at melee. So all this other stuff though. Like literally everything. We're already getting 2,500 silver. Holy cow. And do keep in mind, this is just weapons. Let's actually not sell the hatchet. We can use that to increase plant work speed. Adamantite pick. Pickaxe only has a value of three bucks. Increases mining speed by 33. Yeah, we'll keep that. But up here, we got tons of bones from butchering up those werewolves. We got a bunch of totems, four of them three speed and then one guile. I kind of want to use those. I'm pretty sure people want to see what those do. Oh, and then they'll buy the wolf meat. We'll actually sell all of it because there's still werewolves that we can butcher on the map. All the wolf skin, all the heavy fur. Do we need the werewolf blood? We can use it to make elixirs at a drug lab, which we can't build for a long time. So let's just sell that. And all right, that's going to give us 6.2k silver. Good lord. And all right, so that's where we're going to end episode two. We did get a disease, I think, on Peasant 5, but we have a good medic, so he's probably not going to die. Peasant 1 went into wake-up binge, but if you make it so people can hold multiple drugs in their inventory under the drug restriction tab, you can have people just pick up the drugs. No real big deal there. And then we got raided by the Min Min Chocos, and it was only by one dude. I think we're going to get easier raids for a bit because we only have four peasants and we did just lose someone, so I think the game makes it a bit easier for a while. Also, the random trader that we got today was a combat supplier, and they have some really nice stuff, which we'll get into at the start of episode three. With that, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.